The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Hi, it's Teacher Noemi for Technology and Livelihood Education Subject. Our video lesson will specifically focus to agri-fishery arts, exploratory course on food or fish processing, most essential learning competency, learning outcome 3, Calculate the production inputs and outputs. Rules during the lesson Looking eyes Listening ears Quiet mouth Pen and paper are ready. Let us start with our objectives. Take note of these since these will serve as your guide and target. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Firstly, Identify what are production inputs and outputs in fish processing. Then, calculate and record the production inputs and outputs of the smoked milkfish. And lastly, determine the importance of calculating, recording, and documenting the production inputs and outputs in fish processing. Let us begin the introductory activity with a review question. Direction Answer the following question. Why is it important to tabulate the recorded data relevant to production of products in fish processing? Yes, that is right. Data gathering on raw materials and ingredients used in the production of products is necessary in order to compute and calculate production input and output of the finished product. The following are examples of data that are gathered based on the fishery products. This time, we have the definition of terms. Direction. We have to read and understand the words with the respective meaning. Please repeat after me as I read each word and do follow and listen to me as I read their corresponding definition. Percentage yield. Your turn. The percentage of the finished products after computing for the production inputs, production outputs, and spoilage rejects. Production input, your turn. Something that enters a process from the outside and is acted upon or integrated in the main body of data. Production output, your turn. Anything produced especially through a process, a product, or a yield. Spoilage, your turn. In other words, reject or wastage refers to the parts of the raw materials in the production inputs that are removed during the process of making the actual products and are not included in the production outputs. Yield, your turn. Refers to the number of the finished products after computing for the production input and output. Words have power. Direction. Find and list down the words that are found in the picture. Then, based on the respective number of the words, sequentially combine them together to create a meaningful idea. You're given 8 seconds on this task. Ready? Your time starts now. Good job! The words found in the picture are these. 1. Calculate 2. Production 3. Input 4. And 5. Output So, if we are to sequentially combine the words, it will be Calculate, Production, Input, and Output You now have an idea to the main topic of this video lesson. It is all about calculating the production inputs and outputs in fish processing. Understand the lesson by continuing your watch in this video. Hey! Are you still good? To understand the concepts in our lesson better, here is the story of Alice.
At this point, I would like you to meet Alice. She's a 13-year-old grade 8 student just like you. Her favorite subject is TLE. One day during their TLE class, her teacher showed them the table. Alice was asked to describe the table. She said the table represented data in tabular form. Her teacher said in the end that the table is about production report and has something to deal with calculating production input and output in fish processing. Well, how about you? If you were Alice, how would you describe the table? The table sparked Alice's interest. She wants to learn more about calculating production input and output in fish processing. Their teacher gave them questions to be answered on their next class. Alice has been bothered on their task in TLE. These are the questions. 1. What is production input? 2. What is production output? 3. How do we determine the production input and production output in the production report? 4. Why do we need to record and document production input and output? Can you help Alice answer her task? For her task, Alice could have just read a book or researched on the internet when she got a better idea. She decided to have a concrete source in answering her task. She desires to learn new things and gets motivated on doing it on her own way. Fortunately, she realized she has a friend named Mr. Mad Hatter. He is an intelligent man who also owns a small-scale fishery products business. Alice now knows what exactly she is going to do, so she swiftly goes to Mr. Mad Hatter to ask for help. Mr. Mad Hatter is a busy man, but being moved by the ideals and charism of Alice, as well as his value for their friendship, he decided to help her in any way possible. He shared all his knowledge and insights about calculating the production input and output in fish processing. Alice was very happy. She learned a lot and all of her questions had been answered. She was truly right in pursuing her decision. I hope Alice's short story has given you learnings, values, and inspirations. Don't worry, you will also fill your mind with knowledge too. On the preceding parts are Alice's insights about calculating the production inputs and outputs in fish processing. Take note of this. In short definition, production input refers to the raw materials or the ingredients used in making the product. Production output refers to the finished product. Important factors to consider in calculating the production inputs and outputs in fish processing. First is the actual spoilage or rejects or wastage. Actual spoilage or rejects or wastage and their corresponding percentage depend on the product to be made. The products left during the packing are not classified as spoilage or rejects. In pickled fish, for example, the skin of the calamansi, garlic, and the intestinal organ of fish are included in the spoilage. In smoked fish, the intestinal organ is the reject. Lastly, in fermented fish and other fishery products, small seashells, small stones, and seaweeds are the spoilage. Then, the actual yields and recoveries. Formula for getting the percentage yields is Percentage yield equals production output divided by production input multiplied by 100%. Lastly, records calculated data. Reports, records based on the data gathered and computed on production output, input, actual spoilage, rejects, actual yields, or recoveries are kept for documentation purposes. This will be the basis for determining the progress of whatever products to be done on process. 
This is a sample of production report for a pickled milkfish that we will use to explain on how to determine the production input, production output, spoilage, reject, or wastage, and percentage yield. Production input is 1,680 grams since it is the total sum on all quantities of the items needed in making the product. To show the summation of the quantities of materials, 1,000 grams plus 250 grams plus 125 grams plus 125 grams plus 75 grams plus 75 grams plus 15 grams plus 15 grams equals 1,680 grams. In adding the quantities of materials used in making the product, make sure that only one specific unit of measurement should be used. In case where there is a presence of other unit of measurement for some materials used, then conversion of unit of measurements is to be done. Production output is 1,200 grams since 1,680 grams, the total sum on all quantities of items needed in making the product, minus 480 grams, the amount of wastage is 1,200 grams. To show in numerical operation, 1,680 grams minus 480 grams equals 1,200 grams. Wastage is 480 grams since 1,680 grams, the total sum on all quantities of the items needed, minus 1,200 grams, the amount of output is 480 grams. To show in numerical operation, 1,680 grams minus 1,200 grams equals 480 grams. Percentage yield is 71% since this is the percentage value of 1,200 grams from 1,680 grams. The output is 1,200 grams due to wastage of 480 grams from 1,680 grams which is supposedly the total sum on all quantities of the items needed in making the product. So, to calculate using the formula, equals 1,200 grams divided by 1,680 grams multiplied by 100% is equal to 0 0.71 multiplied by 100% is equal to percentage yield that is 71%. Importance of recording and documenting production input and output Firstly, it gives a reference date on the materials used together with their correct magnitude. Next, it determines the economic viability of the product. Then, it serves as basis for planning. Lastly, it greatly helps in making right decisions. Now is the generalization. Acquiring the skills on how to calculate the production input and output enable one to properly monitor and determine the development and progress of production-related business. How about you? Can you give your generalization? Apply what you have learned by accomplishing this task. Complete the table. Direction. Given the following production report of the fermented fish with estimated quantities of materials, complete the part in the table marked with the number. Please show your solution. Let us now determine if you have understood our lesson. You will have a test to assess your learning. The highest score is 20 points. You have it in your activity sheet. I will also flash it here for you to have a glimpse of it. Remember to read, understand, and follow the instructions found on the activity sheet. Am I clear? There are two types in the test. Test 1, short answer. Test 2, calculation. This is your assignment. Direction. Below are words used in the lesson. Try to determine their equivalent word or words used in your own dialect. 1. Calculate 2. Production 3. Input 4. Output 5. Yield To conclude our lesson, here is a quote from one of famous thinkers, David O. Selznick. He said, 
the success of a production depends on the attention paid to detail. That can also mean that, in order to be successful in our endeavors, we really have to focus. I hope you enjoyed learning the lesson. Bye for now. Congratulations! You made it! I hope you enjoyed the video and learned the lesson. Thank you for your time and effort. God bless.